guys, it's the Daily Divers here, back at it again with another amazing episode of Dumpster Diving. So last night it did rain all day where we live at, but we did go out because it did stop raining for a little bit. But we found a ton of stuff from the Bed and Bath store and also a bag from the $5 and under store. And check this out, we found something from this brand right here. It's absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. With the bins, they are both from the Bed Bath store. And we found a ton of stuff, which these bins definitely came in handy because we just tossed everything in here. So I'm going to go over here and start over here first. Um, first off, we found like this kind of like griddle, grill kind of type of thing. It was $79.99 and they reduced it down to $39.99. But like I said, everything's in there. I just got to see if this works. This would be pretty neat if it does work because I actually don't have one of these. Also found like a little pop-up hamper, simple little laundry hamper, no holes, so... And then also a little washcloth and some sort of like other towel. I like to use these for like cleaning. So if I find anything like this from the dumpster, I just save them to clean stuff with the house. And then we found a ton of more coffee. Same from this brand right here, just different flavors. And they are all expired, but that's okay. You can't go wrong with expired coffee. Also found like some sort of like kid's toy gun. And what else? Oh, these are what the coffee pods look like. It's for... um their system then also we found some dentist sticks and this one's never been open and it was $14.99 for that and also this one and then also the last thing in this bin we found like this I guess it's like a little block a chopping block maybe it is a white marble um, block with some wood on it really nice it's just a little crooked right there but you can't really tell because it sits perfectly flat then over here in this bin check this out let me pull this out real quick for you guys come on we found ugg sheets we only found the fitted sheet we didn't see the um bottom part to it this looks like it might be for a queen size and i know like a lot of sheets um like from higher brands they actually just sell everything separately so they sell the fitted sheet then the top sheet and then the pillowcases so I don't know if maybe this is how it's supposed to be it's just a little bit dirty but you just gotta wash it pretty neat never found anything from that brand before and then also we just found one curtain panel of like this burlap material I am thinking about possibly like trying to make this as a DIY for my sliding door like just have like a top panel I don't know because it's pretty long enough I'll have to mess with it and then we found a little spoon rest. I'm pretty sure it sounds like something is broken in it. Yeah, so the plate in it is broken, but I do have like little bowls, like plate bowls, whatever they're called, very similar in style and shape. So I'm wondering if maybe I can just stick one in here. It's pretty neat. You just sit your spoon on it so it doesn't like touch the countertop and it doesn't get dirty while you're cooking. Found some sort of like water boiler, like a tea kettle type of thing. It just boils hot water pretty neat and it's it says rapid boil so it must warm it up pretty quickly then this is like some sort of like plastic kind of looks like a lunch box not exactly sure it looks like maybe like you store some type of china in it possibly and then we also found some phone cord which is right here a little charging cord and then here is a candle it was 18.99 um, the glass isn't broken. It's just carved oddly. It looks like maybe someone like honestly stuck their finger in it. It smells really good though. Um, doesn't say what what the scent is, but it smells Christmassy. It smells really good. And also, we found a Yankee Candle one. I know this one's called um, Apple Martini. I did break the glass out and it came out pretty clean. So like I said before, I always just stick them into like a little bowl or a really big cup that we find. Also, I have a little soap dish. Nothing wrong with it. And it was $9.99. Another humidifier. We keep finding a ton of these. I'll just have to see if it does work. And then in here is a really, really big salt lamp. Super heavy. I'm not going to pull it out. But as you guys see, it is in there. Um, the one that we found, I think it was either the episode before or a couple episodes ago, it was somehow like completely smashed in half. So it literally just had like a big chunk and it was disconnected so unfortunately i couldn't fix it and then here is some sort of light it's called the anywhere light and it was 6.99 also have a little water bottle it has like little japanese cherry blossoms 
we found two more of the toilet bowl lights. There's a normal one and also the Christmas one. And then this is a really neat umbrella. So it opens up itself. I'm not gonna open it in the house because the dogs are gonna go absolutely insane. But I love the handle to it. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's a little bit difficult to get it to like snap back into this because it doesn't close like it'll close itself but you have to push it back in so i don't know maybe if i just have to put some like grease on it to make it go through smoothly but yeah guys that's everything from the bed and bath store so let me go ahead put the stuff back into the bins and then we're going to jump into that bag last off we have the big bag from the five dollar and under store and of course like usual maya's got to sniff it maya hey shoo shoo get out of here baby okay so let me go ahead and start grabbing some ooh some sort of trash um got some foreign uh foreign phone cords got some empty boxes more empty boxes some sort of looks like you put candy in here like a candy display oh ah empty 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 oh, found a lighter what is this looks like it's just like a little tiny like little baby rug that's actually pretty neat. Murphy might actually like that in his cage. I'm gonna definitely save that. Got a ton of random phone cords just sitting around in here. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is that, um, they have like these like kind of like bean bag looking chairs, but this is like a cover. I guess you could buy separate covers to it. Some more empty boxes. Oh, I see a giant pillow. Here's a really pretty big pillow. The button's just going loose, but I know how to fix it. It's pretty easy. Looks like it's missing one in the back too. That's actually pretty nice. It's a egghead game. The push your luck game, grab them and smash them. 12 reusable eggs inside. Huh, that's pretty neat. I guess you actually fill it with an, a real egg in it. <laughs> That's different. Um, got some more trash, empties, empties. Got some headbands, some little um, headphones. Ooh, whoa, what is this? Starry-eyed eyeshadow palette. Ooh, that's actually not too bad. That's pretty nice. I like the colors. They're like metallic y. These are choco rocks, chocolatey chunks. So these are just pieces of chocolate that looks like rocks. Huh, that's pretty neat. Here is another one of these little black rugs. Got some more trash. Oh, here's one of those little rolly fidget things rollover sticks. This up here is a little mini phone cord. Never seen one that small before. See, oh, what are these? Whoa, that's pretty neat. It's a dream catcher and it has earrings in it. And there is two of them. See another like little earring set. Oh, oh no, that's broken. That was a glittery water bottle that's broken. And I guess that's supposed to be in there too. Yeah, but that's everything. We found a good amount of stuff in that bag. A lot of empty boxes, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, that's gonna conclude this night's episode. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Dumpster Squad. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow night for another episode.